Hi everybody, Warren here, aka Clef from the Moto User Forums. And in answer to some questions that have come up recently on the forums, I just wanted to make a very brief video discussing two new features in Moto 701, which are channel sets and key sets. So let's take a look. I've got a character here that was created actually in Moto 601. And I have a locator that when I select it, it automatically pops up the channel hall UI for all the user channels on this locator. Uh, most of these channels are actually just um, driving morphs. So if you don't know how to do this uh, kind of thing, I've made a video previously that you can find on my YouTube channel that describes how to assign morphs to user channels on a locator and create uh, a UI similar to this. So if I drag the blinking, it's driving the morphs to make her blink. Uh, mouth open, close. Again, that's just driving the morphs, or we can do expressions like smiling. And that's all well and good. And this is a very familiar interface from Moto 601. But there's a few things you should be aware of when dealing with the channel hall UI. And here's one of them. The, the UI is constrained to the uh, viewport area. So what do I mean by that? If I drag this down, you can see that as we hit the bottom of the viewport uh, area, it will clip the channel hall UI. So another thing to be aware of when you're animating uh, is, for example, if we pop open the dope sheet in graph editor, which I often have open and, you know, fairly large when I'm animating, depending on what I'm doing, that can also constrain your vertical real estate of the viewport and cause it to clip the, the number of channel hall controls that we can see and use. So that can be a little bit of a problem, and it's one that channel sets helps to solve. So let's take a look at creating a channel set. I'm going to come over here to the side panel, scroll down, and I'm just going to select the uh, eye control for blink. So I'm just selecting three user channels. Now I'm going to come down and say channel sets create a new channel set and we're going to call this i blink it's going to be a channel set and the mode is from selected channels and that's fine because we have the channel selected over here now under mode you can also say from selected items but since we have channels in this case we'll say from selected channels okay and now we can see up here in green the channel sets ui and you'll notice a few differences from the old uh, channel hall UI. One of them is in the top corner, you have this little X. And that is used to actually dismiss the channel sets UI because unlike channel hall, uh, it stays pinned in the viewport. So with channel hall, when we wanted to go in and animate something, for example, if we wanted to um, animate this arm, I would have to drop the channel hall UI in order to be able to do the other animation. But as you can see, with channel sets, it stays pinned, which is really useful because now we can go and we can make other, uh, you know, animate other items. And we still have our channel set here that we can also work with. So very, very useful. Something else to note in the channel sets is this little red dot which indicates that this is a keyed channel so for example we can click on that to key this left eye so this is similar to what you are used to seeing under the properties uh, for channels in moto really really handy stuff let's go ahead and create another channel set so just scrolling down to the bottom once again i'm going to select all the mouth related channels say channel sets create a new channel set and we'll call this mouth set again from selected channels and now once again we see in green we've got our mouth set with all of those um, different controls we can tell which ones have been keyed so far because they're highlighted in the red uh, indicator and now to switch between channel sets down here next to where we created the channel sets, you can choose which of the sets you've created you want to use. So I can switch between iBlink 
Now we have control of that, or we can go to mouth set, and now we have that one. And when we don't want to use it anymore, we can dismiss it by just hitting the X. To bring it back again, just select a set. And of course, we're free to animate with, with other controls. So that's really, really handy stuff. It's one of my favorite new animation features in 701. One of the great things about it is that you can create these sets whenever you need them from however many different channels you wish. Um, so for example, if if your vertical real estate is constrained, you can, you can just set a smaller subset of channels to work with. Uh, another thing is if someone passes me a scene and I know I'm gonna be mostly working with a few channels, I can quickly just create a channel set for me to just work with. Um, you can also even create additional locators, kind of like we had in the old style here, uh, but instead of bringing up the channel hall UI, you could cause it to bring up the uh, channel set UI instead. So really useful addition uh, to rigging and working with animation in Moto 701. Okay, next up, we're gonna talk about key sets. So let's go ahead and create a key set. And in this case, let's again take um, all of these channels for the mouth. And I'm going to say key set, create a new key set. Now this is going to look very familiar. The interface is very similar between creating key sets, channel sets, and actors in 701. Uh, so in this case, our type is key set, and we're going to say from the selected channels. Okay, so we've created a key set. Now, if I pop open the dope sheet and graph editor, um, you can see that when I select this set, it filters my graph editor to only show me those channels that are part of this key set. So that already is a very, very handy feature. So you could create a key set knowing that that is uh, a bunch of channels that you wanna work with together uh, at, a, at a single time in the graph editor or the dope sheet. So handy for that. Um, but I'm gonna come over here to the dope sheet and show you another property that's interesting. So if we go to say, um, I'll go to uh, frame 12. And now normally, I think most people animating in Moto will have this auto key mode set to animated, which means that once you've set a key on something, if you then make a change, um, it will automatically uh, set a key for you. So for example here, let's pop up, pop up this channel hall UI. And now if I was to change um, this mouth to making an ooh sound, because I just made a change, then you can see it's created a key here for mouth ooh, this yellow, yellow key. But it has not created a key for mouth E, mouth F, tongue up, or any of the other channels. Um, whereas, let me come down here to, uh, let's go down to uh, frame 24. And instead of that, I'm gonna select this mouth key set, and I'm gonna say key it. Um, as you can see in the graph editor, we've got all of these uh, channels that form part of that key set. And if we come back here into the dope sheet, you can see that we've now got a key on all of those channels that form part of the key set, even though we haven't necessarily made a change to trigger uh, a key to be set on that channel. Uh, so by contrast, if we come back here to frame 12, and you know I make the mouth uh, frown a little bit, we get a key just on the frown. Whereas if I was to activate this uh, key button next to the key set, it's gonna actually create a key for everything. Let's go ahead and do that. And now we've got keys for everything, even if they're if they're just staying at that zero value. So both um, modalities are useful in different circumstances. Sometimes you don't wanna create a key for everything. Sometimes you do just want the behavior of only the animated changed key um, being added. But there are other times where you wanna key everything that forms part of that set. And that's where key sets also comes in handy. Okay, so now I just wanna clarify briefly that there is some overlap in how you can use key sets, channel sets, and even actors. 
Because let's take a look. If we if we select something from a channel set, like these eye blinks, you can see that we also get our graph editor filtered by members that are part of that channel set. Of course, we also get the uh, channel set UI up here, which is one of the main reasons you'd put something into a channel set. Um, and if we wanted to, we could we could also do something similar to what we get with the key sets in that I could shift select all the um, all the channels that are making up that channel set and then I could use either this button here that says set keyframes on selected channels or the quick key for that is S on the keyboard so if I come down here to frame 12 and I hit um, S on the keyboard we will have set keys for all of these channels. So key sets are certainly, I'm not trying to imply that key sets are the only way that you can filter a group of channels or items for, for working with keys as a group, um, or to, to be able to key multiple things at once. Uh, they're not, you could also do it with the channel sets. Um, and likewise, if we come down here to actors, which we cover in another video in more depth. But anyway, if I select uh, my phoneme set from the actors, now in this case, they're already all, have already been previously keyed. So uh, by default, you'll notice with channel sets and actors, it only selects uh, those channels that have previously had keys applied. So, but here, because they've all had previous keys applied, they all select for me. And again, if I come to 16 um, and I wanted to key all of these channels I could do so by just hitting the S key and yes it's created a key for for all of those okay so there's some uh, commonality and again we're getting the filtering options so why would you use uh, key sets as opposed to channel sets or actors well generally if you're grouping your channels and items into an actor it's because you want to work with poses and you want to use actions if you're grouping things using channel sets, it's because you want this uh, channel hall type of uh, user interface behavior. But at the sort of lowest level, if you want to take uh, any number of channels or items, uh, regardless, you don't care if you're not going to necessarily use them with poses and actions and you don't care about channel hall with them, then you can just put those into a key set and that gives you that high level of filtering and uh, grouping of those uh, different channels and items so that you can key them as a group and uh, filter them in the graph editor as a group as we have with this with this mouth set. So all these three features are in a way related and in fact if we come over here to the groups um, area we can see that as well that there's a relationship between them because down here at the bottom we have the mouth set which is a key set and the icon is this little box and when we open it up we can see inside it the channels that we've added to that particular key set uh, it doesn't have actions and poses because it's not an actor and but above that we have the other mouth set which is our channel set as soon as i selected the group it also highlighted our ui brought it up and again we've got the channels in it uh, it has no actions and poses. It could have items. Um, and then it, it's got this squiggly, sort of spline curvy kind of thing as its icon. And finally, we have this little human figure icon. And these are our um, actors. And we open those up. They can contain channels and items. In this case, there's just the one blink channel. But they all also can contain actions and poses. So in this case, we've got a series of um, poses that have been put in. And we could also have actions, which are like uh, they store keys for an entire timeline. And again, that'll be covered more in the other video about actors, actions, and poses. And from this group's um, view, you can manage them in that you can delete the, the key set itself or you could delete individual channels out of a key set. The same thing with a channel set. You could come in here and delete it or delete some of its uh, channels or items containing it. And the same with, with actors. So they're all here under the groups. 
and that's how you manage them. So I hope this was helpful, and thanks for watching.